Hey everyone, and welcome to another Zim tutorial. Today, I want to show you how to set up a Fortnite Zim configuration for Zim Apex. I will cover everything you need to know. In addition to that, I will go over some configuration tricks that you can use to increase your building accuracy. Also, in this video I will show you how to correctly set up your Fortnite in-game settings, so your Zim Apex experience does not suffer from using the wrong values there. In the video description you can find the copy and paste codes of everything that I show in this video. Before you create a configuration, the first thing you should do is to make sure your Zim Apex has the latest game configuration version of Fortnite. You do that by going into the options in the top right of your Zim Manager. Go to Global Settings, and then press the Force Games Download button. Your Zim will now download the latest Smart Translators for every game profile. Of course the Smart Translators of your existing Zim game configurations will remain untouched. Depending on how fast your internet is, this may take a few seconds, so please be patient. Once the download is complete, head into the Global Settings options again. This time, click the box next to the Expert Configuration to activate this mode. You can now adjust your Zim pulling rate. I recommend you to use either 500 or 1000 Hz for both, your Zim and your mouse. If you are unsure which of the two will give you better mouse movements, then watch my Best Zim and Mouse Pulling Rate tutorial. You can find it under link 1 in the video description. My mouse runs best with 500 Hz, so I go with this option here. Once you have adjusted your Zim pulling rate, hit the save button in the bottom right. After that, restart your Zim Apex so the pulling rate changes will be active. When your Zim is running again, click on the options in the top right. After that, press the New Configuration button to open the Zim Game Configuration Library. Search for the Fortnite Game Profile. You can either scroll through the list, or use the search bar at the top like I do. Pick the Fortnite Battle Royale configuration, even if you want to play the Save the World mode. The following tutorial will work for both, Battle Royale and Save the World. After you have picked it, you can choose your console at the bottom. For this tutorial it doesn't matter which console you have, the configuration will work excellent on all consoles. Just make sure you pick the correct console you are playing on. Your Zim will now load the new Fortnite configuration. A pop-up window will appear, in which you can learn about the required in-game settings for Fortnite. If you already closed it, you can reopen the pop-up by clicking the button in the bottom right of the game picture. Press the Yes button, and you will be forwarded to the Zim forum. Here you can find the in-game settings that your Zim needs in order to give you the best possible mouse movements. Please, do not use any other settings. Also, by the time you watch this video, Fortnite might need different in-game settings than those that you can see in this video. In this case, please use the settings shown in the Zim forum. If future changes have an impact on this tutorial, I will of course upload a new one with updated settings. Now, let's head into the game to change its settings. I will now adjust those to match the ones shown in the Zim forum. You are free to use either the Controller Layout Combat Pro or the Builder Pro Layout. Builder Pro is in my opinion the better layout as it greatly helps to build faster and with more precision. If you play Save the World then please use the settings that are shown under Fortnite Battle Royale instead. This will result in a better game experience for Save the World. The Builder Pro controller layout is also a great pick for Save the World. Please be careful while you adjust your in-game options, so no accidental setup error will mess up your mouse movements. Once the in-game settings are correct, you can go back to your Zim Manager. The next step is to set up your Fortnite Zim configuration. Click the Configuration Edit button in the top left to enter the editing menu. The first thing to do is to change the configuration light. Pick the color you like the most from the list. I will go with blue in this tutorial. 
Whenever my Zim will now show a blue light, I will know that my Fortnite game profile is running. On the right side of the configuration color, you can find the hotkey option. I will use the F1 key for this. When I want to load my Fortnite Zim profile, all I have to do is to press F1 on my keyboard and the Fortnite configuration will be active. Now let's swipe to the right in your Fortnite Zim configuration. This will open the hip menu. Alternatively, press the arrow on the right side of your app just like I do. First, adjust the mouse sensitivity to a level that you feel comfortable with. If you are unsure what mouse sensitivity works best for you, I highly recommend you to watch my tutorial video on how to find your perfect Zim sensitivity. You can find it under link 2 in the video description. My preferred Zim hip mouse sensitivity for Fortnite is 4. If you end up with a higher or lower value, then this is absolutely fine. Everyone has a different level of dexterity, some people are better with higher sensitivities while other people prefer lower sensitivities. For reference, my Zim sensitivity is based on 3200 dpi. Under your Zim hip sensitivity, you can find the advanced options for your mouse movements. I recommend you to not adjust anything in there except for smoothing and synchronization. If you experience mouse jitter, use a smoothing value of around 3 to 7, and slowly increase it until the mouse stutter is gone. As for synchronization, Fortnite works best with either common, default or off. Synchronization common will give the best mouse movements, the aim assist of the game will be quite strong though. If you would like to have less aim assist, then go with synchronization off. The default option is a mixture between the two and has moderate aim assist. Changing the synchronization may affect your mouse sensitivity, if necessary readjust your hip sensitivity now. In general, most changes in the advanced settings have a major impact on the quality of your mouse accuracy. For Fortnite I don't recommend any other advanced settings except for those two. On my YouTube channel you can find tutorial videos that further explain what each of those advanced settings do, and in which scenarios it might be a good idea to use them. The next thing to do is to customize your button bindings. Here you can either copy my button layout that you can see right now, or you go with your own one. My only recommendation here is to place your building buttons to keys, that you can press while moving your character around. This includes jumping, sprinting and crouching. Use buttons that you can click comfortably while moving your character in the game. At the very bottom of your button bindings you can find the option to switch into the secondary button bindings. Here you can bind every controller action a second time. Make use out of this if there are actions you would like to bind twice. For example, for Fortnite I use this to place my Builder Pro building buttons to dedicated keys. That way I do not need to use the keys I bound in the primary bindings, those are meant to be used while shooting and not for building. As you can see here, my mouse right thumb back button is for walls, the right thumb forward button for stairs, floors are done by pressing the key F and the pyramid can be placed with X. Once your button bindings are complete, swipe to the right in your hip configuration. Alternatively, press the arrow on the right side of your app just like I do. That way you will enter the Zim Aim Down Sights configuration mode, which is meant for scoping and zooming with weapons. The first thing you should do here is to set your activation key to the same one that you use for zooming in your hip configuration. For me this is the mouse right click. After that adjust your aim down sight sensitivity. My preferred Zim aim down sights mouse sensitivity for Fortnite is 3. Again, if you like to use a higher or lower value, then this is absolutely fine. After that, head into the advanced settings below the sensitivity option. Here you can change your smoothing and synchronization options. You can either pick the same values that you used in your hip settings, or you go for completely different ones. 
For instance, aim assist is less of a problem in hip mode than when zooming with a weapon, therefore your aim down sight's advanced settings might benefit from the option default or off. For this video I will go with common again though. Once you have done this, hit the save button in the top left. Your Fortnite Zim game configuration is now complete. As I mentioned before, you can find the copy and paste code for this regular Fortnite configuration in the video description down below. In the last few minutes of this video I will show you a trick that you can use when your aim down sight's sensitivity is a lot lower than your hip sensitivity. Also, this trick is only necessary if you didn't bind dedicated building buttons in your secondary hip button bindings. If both scenarios are the case for you, then this means that when you use the Builder Pro Controller layout, your sensitivity will be noticeably reduced when you try to place stairs. The reason is that your stairs button is also your aim down sights button. With the following trick you can remove the reduced sensitivity. Only use this trick though if the sensitivity slowdown you experience while building stairs is a problem for you. Alternatively use dedicated building keys as shown before. Here is how you do the trick. Go into the editing menu of the Fortnite Zim configuration that you have just created. Swipe three times to the right, or click the arrow keys on the right side three times. This will open the new sub configuration menu. You can name this sub configuration building mode. Hit the enable button to activate this sub configuration. After that untick the inherit button bindings box at the right. As your activation button you have to use the same button that you use in your hip configuration to enter the building mode. In my case this is the shift key. If you are unsure what button you used for this, go back into your hip configuration and look it up. The activation method will be toggle. Below the activation options you have the advanced settings. Open this menu and you can find the deactivation buttons for this sub configuration. Here you should set the button you used in your hip configuration to equip your pickaxe harvesting tool. In my case that is the Q key. After that adjust your building mode zim sensitivity. You can use the same one as in your hip configuration, or you go with a different one. Pick a sensitivity that you like the most. I will use my hip sensitivity here, which is 4. At last scroll all the way down until you can see the button bindings. The only thing you will change here is the assigned button for the build mode. Remove this action by clicking twice into it. This is necessary to prevent switching issues between different Zim main and sub configurations. Since you leave the inventory by pressing your build mode button, this scenario has to be covered by a sub configuration as well. So, let's swipe one more time to the right to enter a new sub configuration. You can name this sub configuration inventory mode. Hit the enable button to activate this sub configuration. Just like before, untick the inherit button bindings box at the right. This time, your activation key will be the one that you bound as your inventory button in your hip configuration. In my case this is the R key. Check your hip button bindings if you are unsure what you use for the inventory. The activation method will be toggle too. Open the advanced settings again. The deactivation button for this sub configuration has to be your build mode button. In my case that is the shift key. Your Zim sensitivity for this sub configuration doesn't really matter, just use the same value that you use for your hip sensitivity too. The last step is to scroll once again all the way down until you can see the button bindings. Remove the inventory button here by clicking into it twice. Once you have done that, your advanced Fortnite configuration is done. Now whenever you enter the building mode, your mouse sensitivity should not be reduced when trying to build stairs. You can always reset this advanced Fortnite configuration by pressing the build button, and then the pickaxe harvesting tool button. This may be necessary once in a while as this configuration can go out of synchronization when you for example die in the game and do not press your deactivation key before the next game starts. 
As I mentioned before, you can find the copy and paste code for this advanced Fortnite configuration in the video description down below. If you have any questions about the Zim, or about the Fortnite configuration, just ask in the comments down below. If you liked this video, hit the like button or even subscribe to this channel. Also, let me know if you would like to see more of these tutorials in the comments down below, and I will maybe see you in the next one. Until then, enjoy your Zim experience.